Oh, yes, Barney, you are my bestest friend. You are my bestest friend in the world, Barney. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, hello there. It's Frank Conniff reporting from Comic-Con. Now, uh, probably some of you are saying, Frank, that doesn't look like you're in Comic-Con. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Comic-Con is so huge now, they can't hold all of their events in the San Diego Ego Convention Center. They have to farm them out, like to the ho hotels in the surrounding areas, and to uh, even out of town. And that's where my Comic Con event was held today. You probably saw it listed in today's Comic Con schedule. Uh, here it is. Uh, Frank Conniff sits around his apartment in L.A., stewing with bitterness and jealousy over not being invited to San Diego. Highlights will include Frank obsessively looking at Instagram twit pics of photos of people having fun at Comic-Con events that he's not included in. Also, Frank will sit around his apartment begrudging the success of people who've been nothing but nice to him. So that event went off without a hitch, was exactly as advertised. But now, I'm going to kind of as a special bonus, kind of lay some of my geek cred on you, if you will. Uh, I have, uh, you know, you would think that that having been uh, TV's Frank on Mystery Science Theater 3000 and head writer for Invader Zim, that that would give me geek cred. But that's nothing compared to what I'm about to lay on you. Prepare to have your mind blown, is what I'm saying. You know, the holy grail for fanboys and geeks and people who are really into, deeply into popular culture, there's a really rare item, rarer than the rarest Star Wars or Star Trek or any any item like that and I actually have it here it is get ready it's the Pink Lady and Jeff box DVD set there's Pink Lady there's Jeff Altman and that's right believe it or not I actually have this take a look at it take a close look assholes it's the closest you're ever gonna get to it sorry I had to make you eat my shit there but I couldn't resist and I'm a very astute collector and appraiser of comic books as well. And I'm going to show you this incredible deal that I just made. I traded uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15 and Detective Comics number 27, two comic books. And in return, I got just one comic book, but get a load of what the comic book is. Pretty incredible. It's the I'm Dickens, He's Fenster comic book based on the 19, early 1960s sitcom, and as you can see, uh, the art is very realistic. Uh, I think the artist was either Alan Toth or uh, Steve Wood or Wally Ditko. I'm very knowledgeable about comic book artists, and, and as you can see, whoever the artist was, when they were drawing this, um, I really think that in their mind, what they were envisioning was um, was John Aston and Marty Engels. But that's just my interpretation of it. But this is an incredible thing. But you're probably saying, uh, Frank, why would you trade Detective Comics number 27 and Amazing Fantasy number 15? That Those have the first Batman story and the first Spider-Man story in them. Well, this comic book is the I'm Dickens, He's Fenster origin story. And a lot of the mythos that has built up around I'm Dickens and he's Fenster through the years began in this comic book. So it's, it's, it's an amazing thing that I own it. But this, what I'm about to show you, you're not going to believe because I think a lot of you know that the most valuable comic book of all time is Action Comics number one, the Superman origin story, the first Superman comic book, and you know what? <laughs> I have it. I actually own a copy of Action Comics number one, and I'm going to share it with you right now. Here it is. As you can see, uh, see, there's the rocket rocketing away from Krypton. Uh, it's the very first Superman story, and I guess to hide it and to make sure that no one would know that this most valuable comic was around. They hid it inside this Superman archive book. But I was at a library sale and I saw this on a table and I opened it and I looked inside and I was like, oh my God, it's Action Comics number one. The most valuable comic book in the world is inside this book. I can't believe it. I paid like five bucks for it and now I own this comic book worth millions of dollars. Oh, man. And, you know, I'm holding on to it. I, I would 
sell it, but uh, you know the the podcast money is really pouring in, fortunately, so I don't have to do that. But so that's you know I just wanted to share that with you and and you know and also I wanted to perhaps uh, kill the idea that. Uh, people who are into comic books and popular culture are sad and pathetic. And uh, if, if I did that, um, then I think I've done something very valuable. So, Barney, where are you? Barney? Barney, where did you go? Barney, where are you? Have you abandoned me too? Barney!